I hope that uh, everybody's well today. Um, just a quick update. A couple weeks ago, I was uh, testing out this uh, Cano webcam. Uh, initially, uh, plug it into my uh, trusty uh, HP uh, desktop uh, computer. And uh, I was coming across a uh, world of problems. Uh, I had installed uh, OBS Studio and I was trying to also use uh, Logitech's uh, capture software. And I was finding that uh, I was dropping frames like crazy, uh, even at uh, a setting of uh, 720p. It's, uh, it was a problem that was baffling to me, although my PC is uh, an old one uh, with a uh, laptop APU. Uh, it's generally performed pretty well, and I expanded the uh, memory to uh, 12 gigabytes, which I thought would be sufficient just to even run a uh, webcam. <clears throat> Looking at the task manager, I found that uh, Norton 360 was using... Uh, 48% of my uh, CPU, and uh, I was uh, frankly baffled by it. I uh, initially um, disabled the uh, active scan on uh, Norton 360, and I found that that didn't help either. But what I did find was that uh, I guess by plugging in this uh, webcam, which was the first time actually I've ever plugged uh, any sort of camera into this PC, it automatically activated uh, this safe cam feature on Norton 360, which uh, frankly was nothing that I really cared about since I don't leave a uh, webcam plugged in all the time. I'm either using it or I have it unplugged. And uh, I found that uh, once I had disabled or turned off the safe cam feature, um, then Norton 360 uh, behaved itself and used a uh, only moderate amount of uh, CPU bandwidth. And I was able to, you know, do. Uh, my video editing and uh, webcam uh, capture. So uh, this may be a problem that other people uh, have as well. Um, I have to confess that frankly I'm uh, becoming increasingly uh, disillusioned and disappointed with Norton. Uh, I was particularly disappointed with their uh, cryptocurrency offer the idea that they're going to package a uh, program that you can't remove uh, as part of their antivirus software uh, for the purposes of mining cryptocurrency. It just seemed uh, outside of their business and uh, from my perspective, uh, very intrusive. Anyways, that's it for today.